This video contains disturbing and violent content. Viewer discretion advised. Simulated games are, as the name implies, games that simulate aspects of either a fictional or non-fictional reality. Whilst you may be aware of such simulators as farming, Euro truck, forklift or tow truck, you may not be quite so aware of some of the lesser known, absolutely ludicrous and downright strange ones. Here's a top 20 of the strangest game simulators, all of which you could play right now if you really have the desire to. Corporate Lifestyle Simulator Corporate Lifestyle Simulator is an isometric action game set in an office. It's a rather misleading title as the game decides not to bother with the ordinary office tasks of photocopying, team building exercises and focus group meetings, but instead focuses on surviving a corporate management zombie apocalypse. Corporate Lifestyle Simulator may not be the most technically accurate of simulation games, but it's certainly one of the more entertaining. It has a strange storyline, destructive environments, an excellent chiptune soundtrack, and buckets of pixelated violence. Despite its weirdness, you will get some good fun out of this game. Drowning Simulator this is a game where you play as a Frenchman named Julian. You are in the middle of the ocean and your friend, Charles, has a problem with a boat. And a pole hits you which sends you flying into the ocean. Charles isn't able to turn the boat around and you become stranded at sea. So, how do you play this game? You scroll up to survive. That's really it. The game is all in video, so after a period of time you die no matter what. The game was made to support wearing life jackets out at sea. Desert Bus Desert Bus is a very simple game that tasks you just to drive a bus from Arizona to Nevada. Unfortunately, to actually finish this game, you're going to have to sit for about 8 hours through nothing but barren desert wilderness. Oh, and you're also completely unable to pause the game. So if you're thinking of maybe just sitting the controller down and letting the game do its thing, think again. The bus automatically veers to the right. And if you go off the road, you'll get towed back to Arizona in real time. Viscara Cleanup Detail Viscara Cleanup Detail is a simulator game where you play the role of a space janitor whose job it is to clean up the horrid remains of scientific disasters and destroyed bases. So this will involve mopping up bloodstains, burn marks, disposing of limbs and intestine, and repairing bullet holes. At first you think that oh, this is going to be easy. You choose one of game 7 scenarios and you proceed down the blood splattered corridors ready to mop away the body fluids. And for a few sweeps that works fine, then your mop gets soaked in gore. Then you're suddenly making the problem worse, and then you're splashing mess wider and wider with every stroke. A natural sort of puzzle mechanic that forces you to work out the best order of things. Despite the overall weirdness of the game, it boasts some fantastic graphics and is one of Tats' favorite games of all time. The Way of Life the Way of Life is a walking simulator published by Chubby Pixels, where you walk from one end of the small map to another. Not much else to be said about the game as it's in early access on Steam and is currently free to the public. The characters in the game have no face and the game itself can be finished in under 10 minutes. Hatoful Boyfriend One of the most popular simulators of all time. Hatoful Boyfriend is a dating simulator where you take control of a human schoolgirl that goes to a high school for... Pigeons. Yes, the main aspect of this entire game is to date and fall in love with pigeons. Not only could you call this in some way bestiality, but the game itself is just bird brain weird. All the pigeons that you meet have some anime style human avatars to go with their pigeon avatars, making it seem like the girl you are playing as is somehow mistaking them for humans. I don't know how it works, maybe it's just some anime fan service. It's possible. 
The usual and typical high school drama is also in this game, with a healthy side of strange comedy. Not one to miss. <laughs> surgeon Simulator Have you ever dreamed of becoming a world-class surgeon? Well, <laughs> this game certainly isn't the one to give you any sort of training for it. Still, it manages to make a serious situation into something strangely laughable as you fumble around with the convoluted and complicated controls, and most likely you'll end up doing more harm than good. More often than not, you'll end up knocking an item off of the table and out of the game's boundaries, and you'll curse in frustration at the crazy amount of glitches that are present, and then laugh it all off and realize that Boss's Studios did a remarkably good job with this strange little simulator once you realized that everything was intentional. Can you feel the Schadenfreude? Robot Vacuum Simulator. The life of the robot vacuum cleaner isn't as luxurious as it seems. A lot of hard work goes into it and you get to experience it with this simulator. The game gives an incredible insight into the world of robot vacuum cleaning while jazz music plays for your pleasure. The aim of the game is to pick up bits of popcorn, actually it's litter, with the robot vacuum cleaner. Rock Simulator. Rock Simulator is, of course, a simulator game, and it's still being developed by Strange Panthers. In this game, you play the fascinating life of a rock. The camera is just fixed on said rock, like some grand architectural monument of a David Attenborough nature documentary. The scenery around the rock consists of trees, a river, a house, and a jeep in the background. But that doesn't move either except for the swaying of the grass. Rock Simulator is pretty much that. It's just a simulator game that has no plot and not a lot of stuff to do. The developer calls the game a rock enthusiast's dream, and then in the future, people will be able to participate in several rock-related activities, including sitting on and rolling down a hill. Thrilling. Mr. Mosquito! This game is a unique and quirky treat straight from Japan. The story and the concept are pure genius. Watching a little mosquito torment a family is very entertaining. Each stage of the game pits you as a mosquito in a room of the Yamada family house. You need to suck figurative tanks of blood from indicated points in their bodies to pass the level. Of course, the mission isn't so simple. You'll have to dodge such hazards as bug zappers and insecticide and distract the Yamadas in order to hit the sweet spots. Sometimes they'll get so annoyed they'll start fighting back in a Godzilla-like manner, following you with loud stomps and striking with kicks, slaps, punches, flips and other techniques when they get close. When this happens, you'll need to perform acupuncture by hitting certain points in their body and calming them down. Tree Simulator One of the more simpler titles on this list, Tree Simulator, is a simulation game set in the forest. Once you start the game, you'll notice that you're not painting or planting trees, you are, in fact, a tree. The game has you bump set in first person, perspective fixed in a one spot and you're unable to move. You're free to look around the forest and the game does have a day night cycle. Other than that, it's pretty much it. You are a tree and you do tree things, like being a tree. Totally Accurate Toilet Simulator Totally Accurate Toilet Simulator is an atmospheric game that totally and accurately simulates the experience of sitting on a toilet. That's all that you do. While on the toilet, you can press 1 for number 1, press 2 for number 2, press escape to flush the toilet, and there are some hilarities at hand, especially when spamming the number 2 key makes it sound like your character ate something rather strange for breakfast. It doesn't get any simpler or weirder than this. Ceiling Fan Simulator. Wait, what? There aren't exactly words to describe how odd and weird Ceiling Fan Simulator is. 
The camera is in a fixed position the entire time and you watch time go by through a set of windows while a ceiling fan spins non-stop in a empty room. According to the story, you somehow have the ability to control the ceiling fan with your mind. You get more powerful as you change the speed from 1 to 2, and something amazing happens and you put the fan at full speed. It's ceiling fan simulator, that's all that needs to be said. Rock Petting Simulator Rock Petting Simulator is a game where you go around petting rocks from a first person perspective. When you first start the game you'll notice a line of dialogue text at the top of the screen reading Man, I feel like petting a rock. When you walk up to said rock to pet it you'll notice there isn't an action button available. Instead the player has his hand sticking out in front of him like a drunk man fumbling around the dark for an elusive doorknob so your only option is to brush up against it simulating clumsy stroking movements. Once you finish petting the rock you'll notice a small shack at the end of the field. When you enter the shack it finishes the game, prompting you to wonder if the protagonist has enough meth in there to start pondering about petting yet more rocks. Duck Simulator with one of the worst graphics on this list, Duck Simulator is a simulated game where you're just controlling the limited movements of a badly drawn duck. The duck only stays in one place and can't move around the pond. It never changes direction, never makes a single sound, and there are no enemies, no hazards, and no instructions. The only audio of the game is an upbeat background music. Goat Simulator Developed by Coffee Stain Studio, Goat Simulator is a third-person simulator where you take control of a goat running around town trying to cause as much mass destruction as possible. The game is usually compared to such skateboarding games as Skate 3. The crazy and weird things you can get up to in Goat Simulator include riding a jetpack, being abducted by aliens and going into space, becoming king of the goats and gaining demonic powers just to name a few. Footage of the game in its alpha state was posted to YouTube by Coffee Stain where it received more than a million views in two days and a larger response from fans requesting an immediate full release of the game in part due to the various glitches in the prototype engine. Wisely recognizing that the glitching was part of the game's appeal, the developers sought to fix only software bugs that might cause the game to crash, leaving in the other glitches and bugs associated with the physics engine as the results from these were considered really hilarious. I am bread. One of the more popular simulators out there as of late, Iron Bread is a simulator where you take control of a slice of bread, and the goal is to try and get to the toaster to become toast. Problem is, the toaster is on the other side of the room. It's your job to grab onto ledges, walls, and other items to try and make it to the other side, while avoiding other hazards such as floor, ants, water, spilled items, garbage, and many other hazards. Everything is out to make it so you don't become toast. The game has a definite learning curve to it and it's not the easiest to play. Many people are straight up raging by the end. Soda Drinker Pro Soda Drinker Pro is a game where you just drink soda. That's really about it. You walk around very low poly, small and very weird areas and just drink a soda. You can collect bonus sodas on the ground, and when you do so, you'll hear a sound effect that screams, BONUS SODA! It's almost like a walking simulator for the most part, but with soda. Soda Drinker Pro has been featured on big time video gaming sites like Game Informer, Kotaku, and Giant Bomb. The self-proclaimed first person soda was also a big hit at this year's past Penny Arcade Expo, where gamers all clamored out to test out the game. Soda Drinker Pro is not free though, it is available though, for a fee. LSD Dream Emulator This game is the perfect epitome of a what the hell kind of game. LSD Dream Emulator is a game based off a 10 year dream journal from a Japanese woman named Hiroko Nishikiwa, who is an employee of the company that published the game, Ashmic Ace Entertainment. The entire point of the game, according to the creators, is to confuse you, baffle you, mind screw you, and complex you. 
There is no logic involved in this PS1 title. Every time you play this game, everything changes and makes it even more random than the last time. Obviously, the result of this is that every experience is different from the last. You can run into anything from floating heads, levitating cows, giant deformed faces, and interdimensional walls. LSD Dream Emulator is probably the weirdest PS1 game, maybe even the weirdest console game ever. Yandere Simulator. I'm unsure if I even pronounced that right. The newest of the simulators on this list, yet somehow the weirdest one, Yandere Simulator, has you taking control of a young Japanese schoolgirl, oh boy, who wants a boy at school she calls Senpai, oh my, to notice her. She wants Senpai to notice her. But there are other girls at the school, so you need to get rid of them. So you go around the school befriending these girls, and when Senpai isn't looking, that's when you strike and kill the girls one by one. You can go do stuff like burning the dead bodies alive in a furnace, put the girls to sleep with a tranquilizer, change your panties to earn special skills, and bring other girls back to your house and forcefully tie them up in the basement. But you cannot allow Senpai to notice these actions that you are doing. This is also a game where there's a learning curve to it, but it will make you feel bad very quickly for the actions that you're taking. There are also many references in the game, like Attack on Titan, a mode dedicated to the new controversial game Hatred, and even a mode where your character becomes Big Boss from Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain.